Today, I'm really excited to have with us Steve Bidulph. Steve Bidulph is one of the world's best known parent educators. A psychologist for 30 years, he's now retired and lives in Tasmania, but he continues to write and teach. His books, including The Secret of Happy Children, Raising Boys, The New Manhood, and now 10 Things Girls Need Most, are in 4 million homes and have been translated into 31 languages. And do we need to teach boys differently? Do we need to create an environment that's different to motivate them and how they learn? Or uh... um, I think I, I don't... This is a very contentious question about whether, for instance, boys are better in a boys' school and girls in a girls' school. And um, I think that it's we don't really have good answers to this yet. Um, it depends on the school. It depends on the boy. Um, it depends how far they have to travel to get there. It's a, many everyone knows many factors in that. But I would always look at a school where it's um, safe where it doesn't feel scary or harsh. If, if, if as a mum or a dad, if you feel comfortable in the playground, that these are happy children, um, I think that's a really good. I mean, I was talking to some counts, school counsellors, you know, on uh, who, who worked with children in a co-ed uh, environment where boys and girls mm. were. And the boys would come back often and say, you know what, the teachers are so easy on the girls. They're so tough on us. And, you know, and um, they always blame us and we are always considered the, the bad ones around. So how does that impact, you know, what? Yes. How, how, yes, I... How I, do we deal with uh, behavior, what so-called different behaviors that we see sometimes involved? Yes. That, For about 20 years, I went all over the world working with schools. I would, I would work with the, the school team, the, the, with all the teachers. And, and we, we realized that there was a, a kind of a pattern, like a dance that would happen where a boy was bored or he was feeling not just not able to keep up. He wouldn't put his hand up and say, miss, I can't keep up. He put his, he would be naughty because it's boys, they feel very ashamed and shame is, feels very bad for males with, I think that is a wired in thing. We, we hate shame. And, and so instead of saying, I can't do the sums, they would just be naughty. And then the teacher would feel they're losing control. And so they would clamp down on the boys. And, um, and then the girls would miss out because the teacher was busy controlling the boys. And so we began to teach, to try and train teachers to be more boy friendly and to keep track of them and, and, and to, to help them more without ever using shaming. They're saying you're a stupid boy or anything like that, even not even drawing attention, but just, you know, getting alongside them saying, look, if you need a bit of help, come and see me. There's ways to do it, um, Nalina. And, um, and so you can make a lot of difference and, and boys should be happy in school. They should look forward to it. And then, and then they can do fine. But in, in Australia, there was a model which about, oh, I don't know, maybe... 20 or 30 big schools took on, which was to actually have, this was in secondary school, to have separate classes in a co-ed school. And so the children would be in the playground together, boys and girls socializing and learning and enjoying how to get along. But when they went into the classroom, they went to girls' maths and boys' maths. And I wrote about this in the Raising Boys book. And Schools that do that, they find it very relaxing. Also, because we, this program is based on caring about the girls, that the girls felt safer in the all girls maths class to be smart and to shine um, and concentrate and, and to take risks um, because girls develop quicker than boys. Girls are much more, their puberty comes earlier um, and the boys is pretty stupid with the girls at that age. And so um, this is another possible way to, we, I think co-ed is good, but, but in, the, in those early teen years, separating them is also a good idea, but just something to think about. Mm.